on 10 News, a mother-daughter spa day turns into a nightmare. They're accusing a masseuse of molesting the 13-year-old girl on the massage table. That mother tells 10 News reporter Emily Thode she fears that there are other victims out there. The victim's family filed this civil lawsuit in court today against Massage Eden here in Chula Vista. Today, I sat down with the victim's mother. You kind of think that you do everything you need to to protect your family and it kind of comes as a big gut punch. This mother did not want to show her identity. Uh, me and my two daughters were going for just a mommy daughter spa date and we decided that instead of doing our usual mani pedis that we would go get massages. She says she took her daughters to this massage Eden on Otai Lakes Road in Chula Vista that November day. I made sure they had um, space and that they knew that both of my daughters were underage. They were 11 and 13. She says they each went into rooms with a female massage therapist. The lady had gone back to my 13 year old daughter's room and asked her if it was okay if a male massaged her. They did not come ask me. I never consented to a male massaging my underage daughter. And during that massage, he um, sexually assaulted her. Police arrested 45-year-old Xiao Wen Lai on the spot. They charged him with lewd acts with a child under 14. Hi, I'm Emily Thode with 10 News. I am here about the masseuse that was arrested, accused of molesting a 13-year-old. The owner of Massage Eden told me she was not here that day and she doesn't know what happened. Attorney Jessica Pride okay. represents the victim. Um, so he was not a licensed massage therapist and Massage Eden should never have allowed for an unlicensed massage therapist to one, work in its facility, but two, to work with children. The owner told me that Lai was a massage therapy student working as part of his education. My biggest concern is, is I would like my daughter to get some type of justice. I reached out to lie, but did not hear back. He's due back in court March 23rd. In Chula Vista, Emily Thode, 10 News.